Hello Doraemons, welcome back to another video and I'm here back with the question which is asked on 29 November which is another question which in the last video I also taken another question which is asked on 29 November and there are different set of questions which are being asked in the IRA nowadays so it's a little bit changed and this is a different bit of question which will have the use of arrays and we'll also try to use the little tr function to change the field separators and i'll can teach a lot more stuff like that so that i chose this question to explain you a little more so let's jump into the question and let's see what we have to solve so here they have given the data and they have mentioned the field separator is a comma and here with the question write a command to display the semester total score student id student name of student who got highest total marks in a semester so they have given the data of three students from the first semester as you can see and two students from the second semester so we have to take like a uh, two data which is a student who got the highest mark in the first semester and the student got who highest mark in the second semester so this will be the output as also shown in the sample and print output and one more thing they have mentioned here is uh, display the output field separated with an ash. So here we have to display the data which we process over here with an ash in the end. So here there is no possibility thing because they we have to find the highest among them. So there is no possibility like we should not have to print any uh, no player or no match like that. So it's a bit different and here I'll show you how to use the tr function to change the field separator in the end and which is not uh, usually practiced and I may also suggest you to not use it when you have end cases like there is no possibility then you have to print some lines in those cases don't use tr function in the end so it may replace all your spaces with the symbol that you gave. So which is practiced in the previous ones is fine and you can follow that one. In this case we don't have any no possibility scenario so I'll be using that one over here just for to make you aware of the things. So let's get into the solution. So I'm going to start with the awk command and the single quotes as we already know and begin and rfs. So here the fs is a comma as mentioned already so make sure to put that in the double quotes and here we are going to make a use of an array because we have to calculate like add and uh, find the maximum uh, like marks which have been scored and we have to display the marks over here so we have to add the values and store them and find the max from them so this is uh, where we use arrays so uh, as like in other language in Unix, we will not be declaring an array in French. So you can just directly use an array, just mentioning with um, boxes which we use for arrays. So I'm going to just uh, declare a variable which is going to store the total of the marks. So to create any, like I forgot to mention this here in the begin part, if you are creating, adding a new variable or if you are doing a declaration, or if you are doing that ignore case everything should be separated by a semicolon so make sure of this and i'm going to declare that variable as total which is equal to zero so initially the value will be zero and now we are moving on to the middle part of the op command and i also write the end part which we'll be using in this case and i'll be using like i'll be show you how to print an array in the unix let's get started as we don't have any column names over here so the nr part over here is not required and here to start with i'm going to just calculate the total value total is equal to we are going to pre, like take third column fourth column and fifth column so here i'm going to just put dollar three plus dollar four and a dollar five okay so now this will have the total value and if we check it print total and run here we have all the values 
here now we have to just take two values of the student from the first semester and one student from the second semester so we have to consider this as total and here we will be using an i now i'm just removing this print total line and i'm going to put an if command here in unix you can use array in different formats as you want if you wanted to use it as an array you can use it or if you wanted to use it in a dict format with a key you can also do it so let me show you the a uh, dict format of array usage in unix so here i'm just going to take the array as a which which is the universal word to represent a an array and here we have to store the values for the semesters so which is column six so here i'm going to put dollar six in this place dollar six which is less than total so initially if you're doing this a of first will be zero so you don't have to worry about the declaration anything it will be very it is very flexible in unix that it handles these things and if it is initially it will be zero the first value would will be stored here like a of first like this first semester if a of first is less than zero initially it will be zero so the first value will be stored in here and if the future values just in are higher than the previous values here then you can declare like a of dollar six which is equal to the total now we'll be having the semester name and also the max value now moving on to the end why we are printing that in the end state is because this middle part is like a loop it will go through each and every row and then it will finish so if you print it here every time this total gets changed that will be printed over here so that's the reason we have an end part so to print in array in the unix we will be using the same thing as how we use in c or python for i, I is equal to zero and then less than the length and the increment but here to print a dict uh, type of array we can use for i n a for i n the array name and you will be giving that over here between this parenthesis so for i in a what it will do it we should print the values which is like the semester value and then the total value and then we should also print the numbers like this thing and also their names so here what i'm going to do is along with this total what i'm going to do is just i'm going to put dollar six as you can see here we are going to store this entire row in an array like and within the key we are going to store this entire thing so which supports this thing is here you can use so uh, this ash and then the total after that we need the rank which is the column one and again we have to put an ash and then after that oops i have put in the ash over here like yeah the ash okay and then dollar one and after dollar one we should print the name which is the second column and dollar two so now this one this a of first will have the first the total value the rank and the name so now if i print A of I then you will get I missed something okay let's have a check on that oh, oh, oh. I have just put it as as like in Python running the same code again and like I'm getting a different value this is because here you can see like I have given dollar C by and total is equal like those things I have saved in one single key. 
so when it comes to here a of dollar six it will not only consider this total value but also this entire row so in order to avoid that i'm going to create in another array which will store only the total value and then we'll compare only that total value and store the end value in the a array so what i'm going to do is I'm going to create one as B and inside this I'm going to change a B of dollar six is equal to total. Now what will happen is here when it comes to B of dollar six initially it will be zero and then uh, like it will store the value of total to dollar six and every time it compares it the value only will be compared and every time it enters this loop the value in that is stored in a of dollar six will be changed to total dollar one and dollar two and this dollar six will also be stored over here in this place so you can either use i comma a of i or just use i of a so let's now run it and see how it goes so now we got the exact output which is shown in the sample output and only one change is we have to just rearrange it like we have to sort it. So to sort it I'm going to use a pipeline and we have the sort command. So this will start sort the rows based on the ascending order. I have just used it in ascending order because F comes before S and it also suits the sample output and this is it so if you want to use this i value which is stored over here you can remove this dollar six and here you can put i comma a of i so now if you put it there you will get the same thing instead you will not get a little hash between first and this 253 and i'll show you how to fill that you can fill that by putting another pipeline and by using the tr command you can just replace the little space so i'm going to put the space over here and add an ash in between it now you'll get the same value so this usage of tr is not mostly recommended when the data is given if there is no possibility scenario then you will be giving print a statement with a gap so if you use tr in that situation the gaps will also be filled with an ash so this tr is not recommended to use which uh, this method is highly recommended like you can put directly in the print statement like this and if there is like uh, you have the complete probability that in like any value will be reflected from the table itself then you can use this and this uh, which as I showed in the last video you can use this in the beginning to change the field separators so be careful with it and I hope you enjoyed this one and there's a lot of learning from this video I'm sorry that it got a little long so that I can explain everything to you very clearly so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I'll be posting every alternate day so subscribe to my channel and continue to learn keep learning and keep rocking and comment down below whether you have solved this question in the IRA and I'll see you in the next one bye bye